I've recently started coming across a number of users who are migrating from older versions of Inventor to the current releases. This generally has come about, it seems, um, as a result of Microsoft ceasing support for XP, um, which means that and combine that with these older versions of Inventor not being supported on later operating systems they're having to upgrade. So one of the one of the questions that are coming up is um, with the new appearances and how um, how they're applied. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick rundown. So we've got a number of different um, ways to apply appearances in um, the part environment now. You've got faces um, and holding down shift and then right clicking it allows us to use our selection filters so we've got faces and then we've got features um, and then but then we also now have bodies so I've got a, a solid body here which is made up of two features and another body here for whatever reason interestingly it's not selecting it but we have two two bodies in here so one and two and this solid body here is made up of this uh, revolution. Okay, so just going back to um, faces and edges, we can now highlight a face and click this appearance drop down and select a different color. And equally, we can do that, and we can do this over and over again. Now, these are known as um, overrides. Okay, so uh, the default setting is for the appearance to be applied based on the um, material that's set. So if you do have overrides there is a way of clearing them. There's this little button here, clear, and you can select all or you can select individual um, individual faces. So just as a, an example a second I'll undo that and I'm going to change to my feature um, instead and I'm going to select the red. So now the entire feature is red and this one here is instead of selecting the feature I'm going to select the body but as it wouldn't let me select it before I'll select it here and I'm going to choose magenta okay so we're going back to the clear tool now we can um, either select all and it shows me that there are three overrides in exist um, that are available to clear um, or I can select again using my selection filters I can select uh, select objects to clear. So in this case, I'm going to select all because if I don't if I don't clear these, then when I change the material, um, let's pick say wood, then um, the overrides take precedent. So I don't want these overrides to be there. I want it to all look like white oak. So I can clear, select all, and hit apply. So now everything looks like wood. Okay, so that so that just about covers it really. So you can apply appearances based on the material and that gets applied to everything, the the part file. Um, you can apply colours or an override to the body. So I can select anything here, so I'll select violet. Or from there I can say right the next level down is the feature, so I can select that feature there and I'll change that to turquoise or I can switch back to faces and edges which is the default selection method and change that to um, to walnut alright so hopefully that helps out um, and clears things up a bit no oh yeah no just one more thing if you're in the appearance browser here um, selecting these files here you can you can right click and say assign to selection but nothing is actually selected so I can select a face or I can select if I come to the edge it, you can see that it's actually highlighting the entire body so that's selecting the entire body and I can apply and assign to the selection just by left clicking on that um, appearance asset in the browser okay I hope that clears everything up and uh, helps uh, helps you out with your uh, migration to the latest release cheers bye